So I was reading this article a few days ago where they explained the Intel X299 HP debug and also about the high precision event timer. And you're probably gonna ask yourself, Jonaship, why do you show us this? Why uh, do you suggest us to turn it off? Uh, why do you might get pissy about it? Well, the problem is, this was back in 2006, where this timer, uh, I think, got invented in to built into Windows. Back then, you had a controller on your board and a timer that did it uh, so they calculate stuff on the CPU a different way which is called the interrupt controller which you guessed it by the name could probably tell you what it is and that has the um, task um, to give the CPU help the CPU out um, when you for example click on a video while you clicking on another video or like for example, you have the video open, a YouTube video play, it, and then have a video on, or a, a separate video, or you play a game, click on it, it's called the interrupt. And that interrupt um, is always happening. And without that controller back then, CPUs would basically almost stop working right. Since when you, imagine you, doing something and somebody comes into your room and tells you to do something else uh, you get an interrupt from what you're doing currently and you have to remember where you started uh, uh, there and left there to be able to continue further with your task you being interrupted before to do something else now the main issue about this is that when we look at now with lots of cores, stuff uh, we, like Windows uh, and updaters uh, programs doing a lot of stuff in the background, we wouldn't basically need this anymore. And the problem now with, for example, gaming is that with it on, as you saw in the f uh, first section of the video, that it is uh, an issue of because it wants to do the tasks the way it did it back then with just one core or two cores within the processor it messes everything up basically to break it down a little bit simpler um, it breaks down and makes the pc sometimes even unusable for example on x299 everything became slower and slower um, it takes a lot of time to be even loading a video, opening a program, even the task manager or pressing the Windows button. Did it, did it have hangs and stuff? And for example, on my 2600X, on my second PC, I wasn't really noticing that, that it was on all the time because I was used to the performance of a 5700G at that time and the 7820X, which I'm currently using to make this video. Also on X299, Extreme Edition CPU. Now, I wasn't noticing that, but then when I did a little bit more on it, I start to notice it, uh, that stuff would hang, a YouTube video would take like a solid minute to load, like the page is gonna fully loaded and displayed. Um, and I didn't remember that being that slow, when I had the CPU first when I moved to that new platform and so that basically means with gaming you can basically say it messes stuff up now sometimes it can be better but it's so rare that I actually have to turn it off to really be in the safe spot uh, to make your PC work as intended right. 
and this being also on riser systems much older systems to be tested on uh, how much impact this little tool built into windows has which is probably trying to make the processor do something that should be handling by itself and even in gaming this is an issue where there's some reports of being worse latency than with it off which is obvious uh, when you hold back the processor instead of letting it do its own thing how it's because the cpu knows when you in a game move there it knows how to um, speed up and speed down and to keep the best latency not accounting for having no games taking uh, like a video program and making music have that open while you're playing a game takes up system memory takes up probably latency all that adds up when you have two demanding tasks and only a part of the cpu can deliver that then you're holding it back by uh, doing another task and that was that controller there was made to uh, combat this but nowadays when the cpu does it all by itself you wouldn't need this anymore it's disturbing it tankers the performance even on, on windows at some point especially on xt99 okay even that's older stuff but if you have an older system now trying to turn it off i show you real quick now how to turn that off okay to turn that off you click on the windows button and go to device manager it's in german but you will get the point i hope then if you are you scroll down to system devices and then you see the event meter and deinstall it or deactivate it at least i have already done this um, and then restart the machine so you are being able to uh, leverage that change and then you hopefully uh, see a change even in doing something in windows and then write down in the comments how was that experience for you did you know about this did you not how did that change it for you and i hope i made you now know about something that you probably didn't before this is jonas shep here have a good one and see you next time